This is going to be a little tutorial on uh, the basic applications of Jujigatami. Jujigatami is the crossbody arm lock, and it's a move we like here at Welcome Mat, and we specialize in it. So, uh, and I would also refer you to uh, the Jujigatami Encyclopedia that uh, is published by Turtle Press, and has all these and plus a lot more on Jujigatami. So I'm going to have Mike and Ben demonstrate. Uh, we're going to do the four basic applications of Jujigatami as we teach here at Welcome Mat. The first one will be the spinning jujigatami, and basically from the back or you know down position, Mike is spinning under Ben and doing it. So just another basic, this is the basic application when they're on the knees, roll them over, and we have the jujigatami, he rolls back. So he's spinning under him, okay? Some cases the top guy may pop up a knee, and in that case you'll spin under him and roll him over. This is just a variation of the basic. We just want to include this here. So you can see when a pop, he might pop up to pass the guard or something, and you catch it. So as soon as Mike feels Ben move his knee up, he spins under and catches it. Just one more time there, the basic way to do that, guys. Pop up, spin under, and catch it. And there we have that. We have other videos specifically on this on our YouTube site. And we also have another one if he pops up on both feet. And what Mike wants to do is prevent Ben from standing up and pulling him up off, off, up off the mat and he will spin under him almost 180 degrees and spin under and roll him over and notice how he's placing his leg uh, Mike's placing his leg over Ben's head one more time guys now I'll get a little further back of view here see so he had leg over and he spins under and he rolls him over and again there are a lot of variations of this but this is the basic application of the spinning jujigatami we do it off the back Okay guys, let's go ahead and switch up to um, the back roll Jujigatami. So go ahead and do the spin and stretch drill. Basically, anytime you throw an opponent and hover over him and roll back onto your back, we call this the back roll Juji. And there are a lot of variations of it. This is a basic application. Spin and roll him back and over. One more time. You can see how Mike is, as he takes spin down, we're simulating a throw, takes him to the ground, squats and he rolls onto his back that's what we call it the back roll juji okay uh, guys I'll keep doing it from the same same angle I'll come around to the back and what we're going to show then is how Mike does roll onto his back and he steps over and he just rolls directly onto his back as he traps the arm taking uh, stretching Ben's arm okay the, that's the second so it's, that's a back roll and that's just one application of it again there are many Okay, the third application of the basic applications is um, the uh, head roll juji. So basically you're getting on top of your opponent and rolling him in the direction of his head and rolling him over into juji gatami, as you can see Mike do here, and he rolls him right over. And there are a lot of applications of this, and this is a very um, a good arm lock in competitive judo, sambo, MMA, submission grappling, whatever it may be. Head roll juji gatami is a very popular way of rolling an opponent over. And if you've seen uh, Ronda Rousey in some of her MMA fights, she uses this with great effectiveness, uh, her version of it. So basically you hook under, put the knee over the head, and roll him over. You notice how Ben is rolling in the direction of his head, rolling over his head. Okay, Mike, do it one more time. I'll try to get a little closer view. As you see, Mike jumps on. He hooks a leg in and what he's going to do is, is anchor a leg. Stop there for a second Mike. We're going to come around and see where you can see how his leg position is. Look at his right leg. It's anchored on Ben's hip. His left leg is pushed, pushing down on the back of Ben's head. Okay, as he's doing this, as Mike is doing this, he's posting on top of his head for balance. Okay, now look at my, uh, Mike's left arm. He's hooked Ben's right arm or yeah, his right arm, there we go, hooking it. And what he's gonna do, he's going to roll onto his left hip as he rolls Ben over. He might grab Ben's leg or hook Ben's leg. That's totally up to him. And he rolls him over, kicks over, and he finishes with the jujigatami, stretching it out, trapping the arm and stretching it. So that's the head roll juji. The fourth application of the basic applications is the hip roll juji, basically rolling your opponent in the direction of his hip, rolling him that way, okay? Let's see that again. Mike's going to do it here. He's going to hop over, hooks, and he rolls over his shoulder in the direction of Ben's hip. Okay, and you can see how it's basically he traps Ben's arm, Mike does, and he does a shoulder roll. 
hook. There you go. And he's hooking, rolling over his right shoulder in that case, trapping the arm. So he's rolling into the direction of the bottom man's hip. One more time, Mike, in a hip roll juji. And there we have it there. And again, there are a lot of applications of this and variations of it. Um, but these are the four basic basic applications of Jujigatami. And if you get these four down with, with a great degree of skill, even as we've presented them here, you will be a very good arm lock artist and, and uh, uh, technician. Uh, but again, uh, I would refer to, refer to our book, uh, Jujigatami Encyclopedia, where we have a lot of variations of these basic Jujigatami applications. So there we have it, the four basic applications of Jujigatami.